Hi. Uh, in the previous interview, uh, we ended off with regards to the discussion on polarity, the polarity of good and evil, and our insights and perspectives with regards to how we approached the actual design of polarity within which we realize that it is us ourselves that existed as polarity. In other words, we actually lived polarity as good and as evil. We existed as good and as evil. And how we stopped existing as good and as evil through utilizing simple common sense within the principle of self-honesty in considering all and everything equal in one. Um, Thus, within that, we completely seized ourselves as the existence um, of the definition of ourselves as good and the desire to be good and stopped the entire complete existence of ourselves as evil, um, as a definition of evil, because we realized that good and evil were simply definitions um, that we lived of ourselves, were simply desires and fears as parts of ourselves that we've separated ourselves from and that we've created a literal polarity manifestation of within which we constantly, continuously were on a literal battleground within ourselves um, through the whole polarity design manifestation of good and evil. And therefore, to stop self from existing within constant polarity, within stopping the existence of polarity in itself, such as, for example, with good and evil, um, stop self from existing as it, and simply consider that it's not about being good or evil. Simply, what is required to live is self-honest common sense, and not be defined by good or evil, but live the actual principle of who we are as equal in one. Um, in that no polarity exists because you're equal in one. Uh, no definition exists because you're simply living self-honesty. Um, no perceptions, ideas, beliefs, interpretations exist because you're simply living common sense, which is direct insight immediately here. Um, Alright, so Within that, uh, what we've uh, observed within Michael Sorin's work is the primary point um, that will assist him greatly is uh, taking into consideration this design manifestation of polarity, um, because uh, the, the the point of polarity is what is um, affecting his work from a perspective of uh, not yet penetrating an actual practical real solution that takes into consideration uh, the being and everything and all else equal in one. Um, in other words, because as I've explained within the design manifestation of polarity, if you only focus on good and want to fight, resist or um, diminish or shun away evil, you're still creating evil, you're still accepting evil. Um, and within existing in that whole polarity design of good and evil, both always win from a certain perspective, because both are always polarizing themselves in wanting to balance themselves out. Um, so it's a constant win-lose, 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 win-lose. There's no constant, consistent, stable expression that is here. and. I find that that is what he is um, suggesting uh, within his communication to human beings um, to not fight, to not resist, um, to simply change. Um, but I would suggest to consider that one cannot change if one exists in polarity because you always exist within polarity. Um, within the law of balance that exists within it, but to simply stop existing in polarity in its entirety, consider simple self-honesty here, simple, direct, immediate, common sense, and taking into consideration all equally as one. Um, Alright, so that's the 
conclusion of my discussion with regards to the point of polarity in relation to Michael Tsarian's work and some suggestions and considerations for him to have a look at that will most certainly, in a practical way, assist human beings in actual real self-change. Because that is what is imperative here within this world, within this existence, is self-change. Actual real self-change. Because that's what we found is why nothing in this world is changing, why everything is worsening, intensifying, and just culminating and compounding. Where everything is getting greater and more intense, both within and without is because beings aren't actually really changing themselves. They're trying to change separate parts of themselves, such as trying to change the ego, or trying to be good, but you can't change the ego because the ego is not a separate manifestation, it's not there, it's actually self. I have to change me as the ego to really change. Um, it's not about only wanting to be good, because wanting to be good and fighting for good and living to be good is perpetuating and compounding the opposite polarity, which is evil. Because both good and evil exist in direct relationship with each other, within self as self. If a self is to stop existing as good and evil, but live the consideration of all equally as one. Because in equality and oneness, there exists no polarity. Because I'm equal and one as all and everything that exists. And the practicality of living equality in oneness, within which no polarity exists, is self-honesty and common sense. Right, thank you.